I'm Deacon Doug, and I'm here today because we're going to talk about the ministry of the lector here at St. Ignatius, how important it is. It's very important for our men. And the church venerates the divine word just as it venerates the body of Christ. They're both so very important. And an important thing about this ministry is, is that it's only... For a lot of people, the only time they're going to hear the word of God during the week. So we have some people here that are ministers, lectors, that are going to explain why they're a lector and what they get out of it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Liz Dudas, and um, I became a lector because an old nun 50 years ago told me to become one. And in those days, you did what sister told you. But I was so happy I accepted that gift because that was at Vatican II where the church went, oh, uh, wanted to uh, re restructure the sacraments and the liturgy. And the first thing they did was to offer lay people the opportunity to be lectors and Eucharistic ministers. And I really appreciated being asked because what that did was open me to the scriptures. With my study of theology and scripture and homiletics, it just exploded the meaning of lecturing. I, I learned that words matter. Words are powerful. We can inspire people or we can incite them. We can offer forgiveness or we reject forgiveness. We can offer healing or we can inflict pain. We can encourage people or we can discourage people. So if our human words are powerful, how much more the word of God? When I lecture, I'm aware as I look out to the congregation, how many people might be looking for a word of hope, or a word of healing, or a word of forgiveness, or a word of mercy. People might be having financial difficulties, or dealing with an illness, or strained relationships. And my hope is that when I proclaim the word of God, somehow that will touch their lives, it will resonate and that they can leave with uplifted hearts. So I have gotten so much out of it. It helped me understand the scriptures more, to appreciate God's word, and to be aware of how God speaks to me through people and events during the week. So I would encourage people to consider this as a ministry and uplift the entire congregation. Thank you. Hi, my name is Rosemary Oye, and I'm a member of this parish. Um, the reason I became a, a lector was uh, it's like an evangelization for me. Uh, when I was little, back in Nigeria, I was a translator for the white priest that came. And uh, since then, uh, I learned how to bring the word, how to proclaim the word. Um, being a lector, it's not only to read it, but uh, to proclaim it so that uh, people that are in the congregation will uh, understand. Yes, everybody can read the Bible, everybody can read, but you have to bring it, you know. And they say when you go to Mass for daily Mass for three years, you read the whole Bible. But sometimes um, you, when that um, word is when you read that word again, you hear it for the third, fourth, fifth time, you're going to get something out of it, depending on the person that proclaiming it. So I proclaim the word, I don't read it. So I hope um, whenever I proclaim the word, somebody gets something out of it. So it's, for me, it's evangelization, is bringing the word and proclaiming it so that people will get something out of it. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Caitlin, and I'm new to this parish, but enjoying it already. Lecturing has always been special for me. It's part of the way that I got more involved with my faith in college. And now that I'm out of college, it's just a way for me to continue that in this parish and anywhere else that I may end up. For me, I don't know, lecturing was a way for me to have the opportunity to share my faith literally in Mass, but it also serves as a reminder to me to share it with people outside of Mass as well, just because having the opportunity to read and participate in the Mass reminds me that during the week it's just as important to continue to bring that message to other people as well, and I've just been really grateful for that opportunity and encourage anyone else to get involved as well. Hi, I'm Tracy Broussard. Being a lector here at St. Ignatius allows me to dive deeper into the scriptures and the ability to give something back to the Catholic community that's done so much for me and my family. In preparing for the readings, I try to put myself in them and find how they can be applied in my everyday life. By doing this, it's given me an opportunity to help grow my faith. Hello, it's me again. And I, you've heard four people talk about what lecturing means to them. And it's also, they develop a relationship with the Lord. It gives them confidence. If you're up talking in front of 100, 250 people, and you've got a script in front of you, it's hard. But as you do it, as you practice it, you will get better, and it will build up your confidence, and also you're doing a great service to our community. Right now, with this, everything that's happening, we are short of lectors, and you can sign up in an Arthex. There's a sheet out there that you're welcome to sign up, and whatever mass you want, you'll get, and we'll give you individual training. So I hope take this to heart and draw closer to the Trinity. Thank you.